Welcome to Horns and Hooks TV. Today we are going to Cali. We're going hog hunting with Huntsman Outfitters Guide Service, Donald Avery in West Central California. And uh, we're going hog hunting and turkey hunting with our good friends Amy and Brady, our pro staff Amy and Brady. Got them in the back seat. We're just pulling into the California fruit check station and the only fruit we got on board is behind the camera. <laughs> we're ready to go. Should be a good time. Supposed to be hot. I'm excited. Can't wait. Should be a good time. We're in Cali. Welcome to Cali. Mount Shasta in the background. Pigs and turkeys. Slaying some stuff. Just smacked out on some hogs. We've got about probably six more hours to go. So. We're approximately one hour from our destination. Yeah, it's good to get there. Nice little black tail. Let's come back here for the deer season. Well, we made her. Day and a half later. Exactly 24 and a half hours since we left my house, we have arrived. Seen lots of hogs on the way in, lots of deer, lots of turkeys. I'm excited. We finally made it to the lodge where our new friend Kevin gave us a tour of the quarters. Well, Donald man the grill, cooking up some wild hogs. Mm, 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 good barbecue. What do you do with That's that? That's what I'm talking about. I don't know, but something. Yes. After an extremely long drive, we were ready to hit the hay and get ready for some exciting hog hunting action in the morning. Morning. It's day one. We're at Huntsman Outfitters Guide Service here in uh, Central California. We're going to go after some hogs this morning. We kind of got to get after it here. Everybody's loaded up. We got to run up on the top of the ridge, and uh, they got a bunch of hogs that come in and out of this area. They move to water and back and forth to their bedding area. So we're going to try to catch them on the run. Let's get after it. Get some hogs down. There he is, right there. Yeah, see a black spot? There's two or three of them. Those are different ones. There's uh, one, two, three. There's yeah, a whole bunch of them. Four. See them up on the right ridge up there? A long ball. Three big boars. Four, one big red one. How far is that? Uh, let me range it. Quit the big herd. 716. 772. Get on it. Hurry. You got about a minute. 781. 770, Brady. 800 right where they're at. No wind. Coming, Coming up to the left, a whole bunch of them, big red one, a bunch of black ones. What? He's on them, they're stopped. 800 yards, no wind. Oh, here comes another one. That one's small. You guys see the, that one coming up? Yep. Any more coming? No more coming. They're all in that thick tree. There's one. See the one up high? There's just another one. Where'd he go? That's 820 there. Man. Yeah. You know, a little, right? Yeah, the ones you now are. Baby. I could have pulled the trigger on that. You should have. The last couple ones. Good morning. It's day two here in California on the Hogs Ranch. Lots of hogs everywhere. There are. Last night we got finished the day surrounded by hogs and pretty exciting. It was awesome. Yeah, we were real close within like 45 yards of about 50 pigs, yeah. I think we counted. But it got too dark for filming light when the big boar came out, so. Anyways, we're set up here in the same spot we were yesterday morning. There should be a bunch of hogs coming up this draw. They want to go over this little saddle right here and bed down. So we're just going to get set up and wait. And hopefully put a big boar on the ground. Hopefully. Today's a day. Smackdown. There he is, right there. He's right above that oak tree. Jason, you on him? He's in that opening right there. That little opening. Moving to the left. Yeah. He's behind that tree. Yeah. 
again. Yeah. He's gonna go into this bottom here. Yep, That's yep. not the one. He's coming into the bottom down there. Okay. There he is, Brady. Yeah, there he is, Brady. Two hundred. Yep. Yeah. There you go. Nice shot, buddy. Nice shot. Put another one in him. Shoot another one. That a boy. Don't be dizzy. Keep firing. Nice shooting, Brady. Out a boy. That's a big boy. Where are they at? Brady just smoked a big old hog. Big boar, probably about I don't know, 250 pounder. Big black Russian boar. About a 250 yard shot. He just drilled it. Put the smack down on him with the Huskimo. Atta boy. Brady has smoked him, man. Big yeah. pig. Awesome. What do you think, Donald? About 225, 250 pounder? I'd say about that. 200. Yeah. Big 200, pig. 225. Big pig. Yeah. Big, big old cutters on him. Things are sharp too. Yeah. 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 He's got some good teeth on him. Yeah, he was about uh, 250 yards. Brady finally was able to get him in the opening, and he didn't get a shot there. He came to about 225, dialed down. And just put one right through the boiler room, and you could hear him squealing like yeah. crazy. Oh, There's lots of chances for long range shooting here. Lots of pigs. Lots of pigs, pigs everywhere. Piglets are like. Half a dozen. Yeah, they're like geese around here or something. <laughs> just everywhere. Great yeah. shooting, Brady. Thank you. We got. Uh, More tags to fill. Yeah, let's get her done. We got to get Amy a big old song. nasty looking yeah. boar. Brady, just exactly, how does that setup work with that Heskema on there? I mean, what's the what's the reasoning behind all the stuff? Actually, it's pretty pretty simple process. I mean, the Huskema has great glass and everything, but their biggest selling feature and the best thing about these scopes is the custom turrets you get for them. Um, yeah. I obviously just have this data turret on here. This is the way your scope comes when you get it. And uh, you get all the paperwork and all the information from Huskema about your, your bullet and your load and, and you count clicks and send all that data into them and they make you a custom turret like Rex has over there. Oh, that's why his, his oh, Yeah, you get this one back from him. You get two of them if you buy it from a dealer. And it's got all the yardage marks on it and the windage. So, See how simple that is? It's pretty dang simple. Oh, that's beautiful. You just uh, turn for, dial for uh, yardage and hold for wind. So you just get your range and that matches up with that. Exactly. And you're ready to go. Yep. Smack down up to 900 yards or how depending on how, how far your, your ballistics go. <laughs> you proved it to me. These things are dynamite. Man. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, it's fast. One? I'd love to. Let's get her done. Let's shoot do it. it. Hey, Kevin, you want to shoot that gun? Absolutely. All right. We got a rock picked out there. It's 575 yards. So we'll check the wind. We're not showing any wind. So we're gonna dial right for 575. There's five. 75. Got it. Hold right on. You ready? Never Smoked it. Nice shot, Kevin. Dang, nice shooting. That was good. Yeah. See how easy that is. Welcome to Spoon Fed. This week I'm joined by Kevin, guide here at Huntsman Outfitters, and we're about to head off for our evening hunt tonight, but I wanted to ask a couple questions first. We are here in Monterey County, California, and from what I hear, this is where the very first wild boar was introduced. Can you tell me a little bit about that? Uh, yeah, actually in the 1920s, a local farmer uh, was the first person to introduce European hogs into the state of California. So after the introduction, what happened? Well, after the uh, European wild hogs were introduced, they bred with the uh, feral domestic hogs and uh, the population exploded. What is the current status of the population? Well, the Department of Fish and Game currently sees them as a game animal and they're being managed as such. So what are ranchers as well as you as outfitters doing to manage these populations? Well, our management techniques is that we try to harvest mostly boars, but we're also harvesting sows at a rate 10 to 15 percent just to keep a hold of the herds. What are the reproductive rates with these hogs? Well, they reproduce up to nine times a year, so it's quite impressive. Wow. So they're very prolific breeders. Yes, they are. 
Other than hunter harvest, what other factors are affecting the populations? Well, their only natural predators are mountain lions and coyotes that will eat the young. Um, other than that, hunters managing the herds is, is the only way to take care of them. Well, the game management was working great because we have seen a lot of great hogs. We've had a lot of opportunity, and yeah. the country is beautiful here. And if anybody else wants to come out and give it a try, I highly recommend it. And if you want to, give Donald or Kevin a call at 1-866-HOGS-866. That's all the time we have. We're on our way out for our evening hunt, and hopefully I'm going to nail me a big old hog and oh, yeah. uh, wrap the day up right. Brady got himself a monster hog. It was now time to move on and see if we could find another one for Amy and I. So this is the same place we were at last night. Last night we were set up in this field and all of these hogs came out. There were hogs everywhere. I don't know, what do you think? There were 75 hogs total? At least, yeah. But anyways, they got in the field. The big boars got in the field after after camera light. So we left them for that last night. We're going to get set up here on this hill a little higher. And hopefully we can catch them a little earlier so we can get a good shot for Amy. Put the smack down. Bam. Let's go. Unfortunately, as it always does, it seems to come down to the last day. Brady got himself a big hog. It was time to find Amy and I one just like it. Yeah. I don't know if they... This morning to chase some pigs. Caught a bunch of turkeys in the middle of this open area. Big old tall. Amy smoked him, but unfortunately we didn't get it on camera because the cameraman was in behind us, in the rig behind us. So big Tom down. Let's go check it out. Maybe we can call him in too. Awesome. That's a big turkey. That's cool. That was awesome. Wow. Big old beard. You got spurs? Yeah, little ones. Little half inches. Nice. It's a big beard. Yeah. It's about nine inch beard. Sweet. Fan that baby out. Um, cool. That's a big bird. Job, that was fun. Smoke Congratulations. Thanks. Nice work. Thanks. Well, you want to go get a hog? Yeah, no. Turkey down. Hog up. Hog up. Hogs are up. Check that out. It's pretty yummy. That's a big bird. Yeah, a big bird. Yeah. Those two fanned out. <laughs> Amy was able to bag this big turkey, but it was time to move on and get back to hog hunting. Our quest for a hog was quickly coming to a close. We glassed the hills for what seemed like hours with no hogs in sight. So we decided to head back to the place where Brady had got his monster hog back on day one. Oh, there they are. They're running down through that. Get on, Jason. They're coming down that ridge line. Same thing as yesterday? Yeah, they're on that ridge line. They look like they're going to the left, though. Oh, 
Oh, in the back? Oh, far. Nice shot, Amy. Had a girl. Oh. 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 You want me to shoot? Yeah, this one right here in the back. Oh, right there, right there. You want me to shoot if I can, Red? It's up to you. Go for it. Where'd I hit him? I hit him. This one here I hit too. Yeah. Well, it went in this little draw. I haven't seen it come out yet. Right on, my man. The waiting game paid off. Yes, sir. How cool is that? You are done, buddy. And you were on them. We smoked a few pigs right there. <laughs> yeah. Smoked them dialed in. Yeah. <laughs> range there. You got them dialed. Smoking them pigs. We have a heck of a barbecue next weekend. We're going to be able to lay that out on rocks right now. <laughs> it's hot. We'll have to get down it's and get hot, these yeah. boys out and go back and have some cold drink. And Celebration. Get these things in the cooler. Thanks, buddy. Great time. Yeah, thank you. You got to come here. It's awesome. That There's was pigs fun. everywhere. Brady got a giant boar yesterday. Amy and I got a bunch of pigs just now. We're smoking them. <laughs> Good to have tags in the pocket. That's right. You can get us unlimited tags. Don't forget the turkey. And we, and we turkey got a, on the and way. we got a huge tom this morning. Giant tom. We didn't get it on camera, but she smoked him. <laughs> well, we got her done today. We got three hogs down. This is a little boar I got in perfect eating size. Throw him on the grill hole for a family barbecue. Heck yeah. yeah. That's some good eating right there. Heck yeah. Smoked them with the old huskama. They're running up through this little draw here dialed him down and put it on the shoulder and that's all she wrote for him. I'm gonna go Lots find the shooting. other ones. Got two more down down here lower so today was a meat day. <laughs> got lots of eating. Well we got a pretty decent board down here about what a hundred pounder, hundred and a quarter? Yeah he's pushing a hundred quarter. It might go 150. Yeah it's not a bad pig. A nice little tooth hog. Heck Made yeah. a great shot on it with that scope I tell you. Thanks, man. You're yeah. cranking across these canyons. It's, unbelievable. <laughs> <laughs> it's good times. This place is awesome. If you want to get into some shooting, unlimited tags, great place to be. Yeah. Amy's got a big old pig down on the other side of the draw. we got to go retrieve still. Yeah. Yeah. Great morning. Yeah. Let's go that suck That was fun. Yeah, that was cool. That was a poke. Well, congratulations, Amy. Beautiful Thank pig. Thank you. That yeah, was fun. awesome. Yeah, a lot of fun. A lot of fun. Fast Probably, uh, what, 175, 200 pound boar. Got some teeth on him. Not real big cutters, but some teeth. Hey, I'll take it. Good shooting. <laughs> yeah. Smackdown on him. That was a lot of fun. He rolled. With a bunch of great hogs and one big tom, it was time to wrap up this incredible adventure with Huntsman Outfitters and head home to our families. If you'd like to book an amazing adventure of your own, give Huntsman Outfitters a call at the number listed below. Unfortunately, that's all the time we have for today. We'll see you next week right here on Horns and Hooks TV for another incredible outdoor adventure. the water and the boat shines with a smile we're gonna make every minute count float mile by mile there's an eagle on that old limb a pair of honks up on the bank on the right side of Ha, 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 ha.
<laughs> right on, man. 